What's up guys, welcome back to the second channel. So you see in the title, today we're gonna be discussing some of the most underrated shoes in my opinion that look the best in person as well. So a couple years ago, I already made a video like this on my, my first channel. Um, but now I have the second channel where it's just just primarily fashion only fashion and you know shoes and talking about shoes So I want to redo that on this channel now if you don't like the shoes, that's fine But like I said, this is my opinion These are the top five shoes that I think look beautiful, but also people sleep on come on now So that being said my name is Shawnee on my first channel and all my social medias I go by Shawnee the tsunami but on this channel, we're gonna just keep it Tsunami because look, it's not just the drip, uh-uh. It's the whole Tsunami. All right, hopefully this is gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna show you some pictures of me wearing it, making the shoes look good. You know, I create outfits on my Instagram at Shiny the Tsunami. I go crazy with the fit. So if I see some pics that I made and some outfits that I made that made the shoe look good, I'm gonna put this on here because that's the whole point. I'm trying to show that these are underrated but also look good. But anyways, let's make this a quick video. Let's get straight into it. All right, so the first one, these are the Yeezy Quantum Barium. Now, at first these shoes were actually very hype don't get me wrong everybody loves Yeezys but there are a couple of Yeezys that people kind of slept on after a while these in fact at first they were hype you know people were you know they were doing them little them little truck things where they were you know trying to have people swap their shoes you know swap these for some some fear of gods no now you see these going for like 200 you know what I'm saying at first they were hyped the um the original colorway they were going for like a thousand at that time and now you can get them for like 200 300 these are the barium colorway but i think the original colorway is actually going down to this price as well so it's like dang but for me honestly to be honest with you this is probably my favorite silhouette of Yeezy. When I instantly saw this, I was like, I gotta get them. I bought them for 300. They're now going for like 200, I think, which is so messed up. You know, I could have saved money, but at that time I wanted them. The reason I like them so much is because there was this Yeezy that I actually saw Kanye wear. It was like a 700 high top. He has not released those yet. He even he hadn't even talked about those yet. But I love those so much for some reason. And those kind of remind me of this pair and they're kind of similar. You can even wear them for basketball. I mean, you got to get the basketball version and I don't know if they're really that comfortable and the best use, but if you want to look cool, you want to look cool. But like I said, for me, the silhouette is just beautiful. They look even better on foot. I got some pictures that I already took with them. They they look really, re these are like, like I said, my favorite Yeezys on the low. And I don't really see people wearing them, people sleep on them. But honestly, don't go with the hype. I think these look so fire in my opinion. If you don't like high tops, if you don't like the look, you don't have to like them. All right, so the next two, I already said in my first video that I made of these, but like I said, this is a new video, so we're gonna do them again. These are the Saucony Grid 8 thousand shrimp scampies now you'll be surprised these are actually like one of my favorite shoes of all time i don't know if i have a lot of pictures with these because i barely wear them because i love them so much now i think you can get them for pretty cheap but they're also really hard to find i got these in maybe like 2016 2015 just when i was getting into shoes i got a size too big but i always have to put these in because like i said these are my favorite shoes of all time the Saucony hype has gone down. Like a lot of these shoes, the hype has gone down. You rarely see people wear Saucony's anymore. They're kind of like, they're kind of like new balances. It depends which ones though. I think Saucony made a lot of like great collabs, great colorways that people really don't know about. You know, they collaborated with some YouTubers as well. This shoe, I just think this shoe is just so beautiful. The color blocking, the pink, you know what I'm saying? You know, the, the splattered paint midsole. This shoe is just beautiful in my opinion. You know, when I wore these, people was like, what are those? Oh my God, you know what I'm saying? I went to a Foot Locker one time when I was like 16 when I had these. And they're like, oh my gosh, what the heck? Like, what? What are, I never saw those. What are those new balances? I'm like, they're not new balances. They're not new balances. So that was the second underrated shoe that looks good in person. All right, so the third shoe, um, this is more of the silhouette of the shoe, but also this colorway. These are the Air Max 98 cones. This shoe is super bright. The problem with these is uh, I, these are very hard to wear, so I don't really wear them that much anymore. I used to wear them like crazy, 
but now these colorways are so crazy, but I love them. I think the 98s are just slept on, period. You never ever see people wear these. You know, they usually go for the 95s, uh, the 90s, whatever, whatever the case may be, you never really see these. And the good thing about these is when you wear these out, only, you know, the real sneakerheads or the people that are really into shoe will, will catch those. And I got a couple of times people like, oh, you like those, you know, people sleep on them. You know, I had a couple people come to me and say that to me and I was like, oh, wow, you know about these. So I think if you want to be different, you want to stand out, I would get the 98s. You don't have to get these because these are some crazy color. But I think they're very, very dope. All right, so the next shoes, I was kind of debating if I should put this in there because, I mean, a lot of people know about them. This is the Jada Smith Vision Racers. I mean, actually, I've seen a lot of people wear them. Um, but I think it's just like Jaden Smith fans. I haven't really seen people outside of that box that actually, you know, wore them. You know, I see it all the time on Instagram. Like I said, those are like fans of Jaden Smith and I know a friend that actually has them. But we both were agreeing that these are slept on pair of shoes. I have two pair, I have the yellow pair and I have the pink pair. Um, these are bright colors, but there's also black pairs, there's white pairs, you know, with a little hints of pink sometimes, there's blue pairs. There's all different colors, but you know, for me, again, it's the silhouette. The silhouette just goes crazy in my opinion. If you want an extra two inch of height, go with these. But I mean, for me, I just think these shoes are just beautiful. I mean, on foot, they look very dope. If you know how to put an outfit with these, they look dope as well. And I know a lot of people don't like it, but for me, I love platforms. They're like one of my favorite type of shoes to wear. So if you don't like that type of stuff, of course, you're not going to rock with these. But they're, these are comfortable, um, you know, they're unique colors, um, and that's that on that. All right, so the last shoe is something I already talked about on my channel as well. I did a review. Um, it got pretty decent views for, you know, considering my subscriber count. But these are the bright blue 700, you know what I'm saying, the Yeezys. And, you know, a lot of people don't sleep on the 700s, you know, especially the OG, you know, the OG silhouette. Actually, probably a lot of people were looking at these. But for me, I don't see them around. I don't see them a lot. I don't even see them online. I think a lot of people go, I don't know which one they're called. A lot of people go for the tan ones where the upper is all tan instead of blue. I think because that's an easier color to match with. A lot of people go for that. This one in person, this is like the top shoe out of all these that in person, these look so fire if you know how to put them together right with an outfit. Like in the video, I think it was how to style the bright blue 700s. You know, if you got some blues, you can match it with the blues. If you have some orange that are this color, you can match it with the orange. Or you could just go all black and they look so fire. For me, I think the blue contrasting the orange, I think those two colors look amazing together. So like I said, I don't see these a lot. I actually see people say good things about this, but I don't see them a lot. They can say good things about them, but they don't actually get them. You know what I'm saying? And for me, these were worth the get. And these are beautiful. All right, so that was the top five underrated shoes that actually look good in person. All right, so tell me down in the comments below if you like any of these shoes, which one is the best shoe out of all of these. And that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.